Hi, I'm Dr. Randy Bivens. Although we can survive for weeks without food and multiple days without water, we would die after just a few minutes without a breath of air. Audrey Mestre came from a family of scuba divers and snorkelers and spent a large portion of her life underwater. She was so confident in her abilities that in 2002, she attempted a world record dive of 561 feet. The day of the dive came and at 300 feet, tragedy struck. Audrey blacked out and was rushed back up to the surface, but after spending nine long minutes without oxygen, she could not be revived and she passed away. Audrey's death brings to light just how crucial air is to our lives, but how much do we really know about it? Air is roughly 21% oxygen and 79% nitrogen. In addition to the oxygen that your cells need to survive, there are small amounts of other elements as well as particulate material such as pollens, dust, molds, and other pollutants. The best air to breathe for optimum health is oxygen-rich, negatively charged air. A charged atom is called an ion. Ions can be either negatively or positively charged negatively charged ions having more electrons than protons. The negative charge in air is usually attached to oxygen. Negative ions tend to concentrate near rivers and waterfalls due to their movement. They also exist in places like beaches, forests, mountains, and interestingly enough, areas that have just been struck by lightning. All of these places have something in common other than the profusion of healthy negative ions they all seem to congregate in the outdoors, specifically the wild and natural outdoors. In fact, it's often been discovered that the number of negative ions in any of the places I just mentioned is up to 10 times more than the office or bedroom you're sitting in right now. Negative ions are also referred to as happy ions because they contribute to better moods, more energy, and an overall sense of well-being. Have you ever noticed your mood after leaving a sunny day at the beach or after hiking to a grand rushing waterfall? Maybe you notice that you feel refreshed, you feel calm and, and happy. There's a reason for that happiness. Studies show that people who spend time in environments with a high negative ion concentration are less likely to be depressed. They sleep better and have more energy too. On the flip side, positive ions have been associated with higher levels of anxiety and depression. So how do we get more negative ions? Go to a place where there are higher concentrations of negative ions, like a forest or the beach. Intentionally take three to five very deep breaths of clean air. Doesn't that already sound refreshing? The result of rising oxygen levels is a clearer mind. But what if you don't live near a forest or an ocean? Well, before you go to sleep tonight, try leaving a window or two open. This increases the concentration of negative, happy ions in your home. Step outside for a minute every hour at work for a literal breather. On the weekend, if you're faced with a choice between taking a hike in the mountains or going to a congested amusement park, you now know why you'll feel much better if you choose the mountains. Take it a step further and grow a few plants indoors. They can be used to grow your own fresh air. Some of the best plants for this are plants with a large surface area, such as ferns, palms, and lilies. These have been shown to reduce contaminants, such as formaldehyde, carbon monoxide, xylene, and benzene. It almost seems too simple, but air's effect is proven. A breath of fresh air will make you feel better right now and is an important part of living a longer, healthier life.